Two maps were just leaked that are becoming in Season 3 for Halo Infinite, and it looks like forging will be possible in some way when it comes to campaign. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. This is the map Cataract. We've heard about the name before, and we've seen some early images of this map as well, and now it's finally in the game, well, in some capacity. Apparently, Sir Asia here was able to find a way to get into the forge and find out this map right here, which I'm surprised we haven't heard anything about it yet. Maybe it came with the recent drop pod update for August here, but you can see the design of this map, very geometric, very symmetrical kind of look to the whole thing. We've seen this style before in a previous link that I covered on the channel here earlier. You can see it's very much more a 4v4 style type of map, very symmetrical as well. We could possibly see this come in as a competitive map as it is symmetrical. Of course, then we have to wait and kind of see how it plays out, but it does seem like it could potentially be a competitive style map as well and probably play, add it into the rank style because of how the map is designed as well. Very fair and balanced kind of looks to the whole thing. It doesn't really look like anything too crazy is going on with this map. It looks like there's some lifts in the back of the bases as well that will most likely launch you to that center pad right there. There's a sniper rifle right off the spawn over to the left as well for each team. So this will be a very interesting up. It does seem a bit bigger than I would expect to see for an arena map, though this could maybe just be just me just seeing only in Forge and never really seeing it like in game kind of thing where I would be able to judge truly the scale of this map, but it does seem to be a bit larger on the side of things. Not, not a BTB map, absolutely not that but a little bit bigger than say something like Live Fire where you'd be able to get across the map pretty quickly. This one, I think there's gonna be enough distance between the teams where they spawn and also the size of the map to where you can really just kind of spawn without any worry of being taken on by enemy players as soon as you pop into the game, which again would be very good for the competitive side of things as we've seen this starting to happen a little bit when it comes to the pros being able to predict spawns and stuff like that. But this map does look very interesting, does help kind of blur that line between Forge map and developer made map. But but we just have to wait and see when it does come around for season three and the next map we're going to cover here is solitude this is a map that we've heard about previously with other leaks that we've covered on the channel here so if you want to stay up to date with other things going on with halo make sure you tap subscribe here but this one's very interesting much much more of a social type of map as you can see the flag spawn right here we have these man cannons is what you have to use it looks like to get to that side of the map or possibly a well-timed grapple shot which is definitely a much more kind of social type of map design and you have these different series of platforms elevated platforms i should say you can still walk to them there's not like any kind of death pits around them on like the flag location but uh this definitely is gonna be much more of a social type of map i do really like the aesthetic of this map though it has a bit of kind of like a fresh green kind of industrial look to the whole thing though again like it's much more like unsc kind of focus style maps nothing really more sci-fi kind of things like we had with catalyst or any kind of like previous maps that we had in halo Though this does look very interesting again very well detailed type of map right here when i first heard about these maps i thought they would be maps that you can actually you know, be made by the developers but it does seem like these are forge maps being are going to be added into the rotation for season three now is there going to be more maps tied to this? Well, we do have some other leaks that we've covered here on the channel, which I'll get link at the end of this video here, guys. Though this does seem to kind of line up with the leaks we've covered previously on the channel here, guys. So I think some of the stuff that we haven't seen revealed yet might actually also be vicariously confirmed through these two maps being revealed. So really exciting stuff. Now this leak video I was talking to you guys I have on the channel already, which I'll link to you at the end of this video here. Uh, we'll go over what Solitude and Cataract they had written down saying Solitude is a layout inspired by Guardian with a circular platform and thrusters to go from one platform to the other with a deadly gap between them not to be mixed with narrows it doesn't seem like to be a bridge based on the remix so after reading this description i can kind of see where the game was solitude with the guardian layout and the platforms and stuff like that and you can thrust between the two but um doesn't really sound like there's much of a gap as much of which there is but doesn't make it seem like it's so gameplay dependent like it is what we see right now on the map where there is a gap but it's two like one flag not like between the bases or the platforms or something like that but rather t relatively accurate i'm sure i'm some lost in translation because this is fr sourced from a french news outlet also Kandarek here they had written down as the one mixing colossus layout with epitaph pl floating platform it should be way smaller than colossus losses from halo 2 but feature like a big lift in the map and like we said earlier there's that platform we saw in the middle of the map there are those two lifts at the back of each base that will most likely lift you to that platform that we saw that i pointed out earlier so 
this does seem to line up properly within this leak as well they had the nine different canvases that were going to be available for forge which were also confirmed within this recent forge leak when it comes to the campaign co-op flight so I'm sorry to think that this whole entire leak of different types of content coming our way, guys, sounds rather legit. Again, guys, I have multiple videos breaking these leaks down. I'll link at the end of this video. Next, YouTuber Zmods found a way to break into the campaign using Forge. Uh, I don't know what crazy witchcraft this guy had to pull off to make that happen, but this is going to be an interesting thing. If Forge will be available for campaign, uh, it doesn't really seem like this would be possible. Most likely this is some kind of like wacky bug that they were able to find some way to get into the campaign using, utilizing Forge. But it does showcase in this video that there are some pretty cool things that you can do with Forge in the campaign. You can see right here he's messing with the sunlight intensity here. So it kind of helped create that nighttime, daytime kind of look to it. You can do a color override on the whole thing too, which looks so cool. Just like really, you can probably get this together, but if you could like maybe get some really sweet like screenshots or something like that, to kind of set up some really cool shots within the campaign. Cause the campaign dude, it's like a walking screenshot simulator of how many amazing different at, uh, visuals you have within the campaign. I find myself all the time just like taking screenshots while I'm playing the campaign because it just looks, so good but there's a lot of really crazy things that you can pull off with this just limited version of forge that they have for the campaign as well i think you can also mess around with the skybox a bit as well which is kind of fun as you can see right here they're changing the sky tent to make it just a completely different like just make it look like mars right now this is just kind of weird but kind of fun the thing to play around with for sure but check this next thing out i know a lot of you guys would be excited about this for the campaign side of things there are effects you can put on it like rain yeah like weather effects that we, which we don't currently have within the campaign right now no time i would say anytime soon to see weather effects actually come into the game again i think this is more just kind of like a first person uh like filter that they put onto it it's not like actually in the world from my experience when it comes to these forge filters but definitely interesting stuff as well again this is what it would look like kind of walking around in the world this like cursed version of the campaign right here but this is just kind of fun to play around with obviously and would this actually be a feature with forge um i doubt it and we've never really had forgeable campaign stuff within halo especially since the campaign is much more of a curated experience where compared to playing multiplayer you can kind of mess around and do what you want really because it's multiplayer you know there's not really much need for like true atmosphere or like storytelling to be done correctly like there is with playing the campaign but this is definitely just some fun stuff i've seen people play around with online if you want to know about the 11 leaked arena maps check out this video right here or if you want to know about the five leaked BTP maps, check this out down here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.